Okay, I'm going to be talking about pretty much one of the most iconic Russian experimental gas masks. That being the, the 2BL or 1BL gas mask, based on what filter cover you have. This is by far my most rarest Russian gas mask that I have. Mainly because for US collectors, or United States collectors, it is impossible to get. Majority of the time that Russian prototypes become available, Russian collectors, naturally as they should, uh, snatch them up before anybody else gets a chance to even have them. So thankfully, I was afforded the opportunity to actually buy one of these at a reasonable price before before it got snatched up. Um, and thankfully, it actually came in a decent kit. Uh, it came with a pair of outserts. It came with this filter, which I don't think is accurate to the mask. It's not really my area to to be talking about the history of this mask because I'm I'm a United States collector. I'm not a Russian collector, but I will be showcasing this mask and what I can't, got with it. Um, I got this filter and and um, I tried to fit it inside here, and it's obviously not the same shape. But I keep it paired with the mask for sake that maybe if it does come with it or go with it, then I'm not separating the kit. Um, you can see it's kind of layered here um, with filtering element. It's very uh, maybe paper-like with adhesive uh, circling it. Um, then you kind of have a soft but but firm outside here. And on the front, you have basically where you would inhale, exit, inhale from, and where the mask would kind of uh, latch onto the filter. From from my perspective, I assume this goes to like a cheek filter. This is obviously like a cheek filter, but I don't know from for, for what mask. Um, definitely not for this one because it doesn't fit. But I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna put, Otherwise, I'm going to show, showcase it to the, to the camera so you can see all the, the uh, filtering layers. Definitely a, a very, very large filter. It, I don't think this would have ever been mass produced, obviously, because it's kind of like it, it just seems so rough in design. Get a little line there. I can definitely say that uh, I do not think, not a lot of collectors have one of these though. Um, this and this are both apparently found in a laboratory uh, over in Russia. So that's where this came from, that's where that came from. I'm going to put the filter aside so we can see the mask. The, the difference between the 1BL and 2BL prototypes is mainly the, the cheek filter cover from what I understand. After examining the mask itself... Um, and the cheek filter, biggest difference I could tell is the, the little inlet right here is different. Um, other than that, it's still a very, very cool mask. Um, but the mask, the biggest con is that the mask cannot slay down flat. It, it'll always have that slight cant uh, because the filter is so gigantic. It, it's it's literally huge. Um, that While donning the mask, while I had it on... It reached all the way up to my ear and it covered it sort of like it was like some sort of armor piece or like some like prote protect it um, <laughs> that double protection or something. Um, not that I mind it. It's the only con I have. I, I assume this was Russia's um, response to us making the M17 um, cheek filter mask. Then you also have the PBF gas mask, the the, uh, the optical the optical gas mask, I suppose you can call it. the The mask keeps the same traits though as the other the PMK slash GP masks. Um, you have the drink tube uh, that can hook up to a standard Russian canteen. You have the same uh, exhale valve system uh, that has the green right here for the earlier gas masks. Black painted voice emitter. Outserts. These uh, outserts, really, I could use any PMK outserts and put them on, but that's what I got. Um, this is a size 1, T-81, uh, with three dots. And then you have some more stamps, dash 703, T-81. 
But like I said, it's not my place to talk about the history of this mask, guys. I'm a United States collector. I allow the Russian collectors to kind of, if they see this video, have their input on it. Uh, kind of tell other people if they want to comment uh, about this mask. Or if, yeah, and I'm always open. If you want to tell me about this mask, hell yeah. <laughs> um, go by all means. But otherwise, I'm just going to show it off to the camera. That's the uh, front of the mask. As you can see, and I'll take off the filter cover so y'all can see that. There's, the way the filter cover goes on is because there's a rubber, there's a rubber apron that holds it down, sort of like the ND Mark V with its filters being rubber aprons. This is sort of the same way. So there's the inside. And the filter cover is plastic. Oh, plastic. And then you'd have sort of like a, a unique shaped filter that would go inside here. And there's a little slit down there where you'd inhale from. But then right here as well, a hole. Back of the mask. Yep, that's that. That's that. Uh, can't. I was talking talking to you about Put that right there. In the filter. Yeah. Um. Hopefully, when uh, I, I get dig up more info about this mask and um, kind of I can formulate a video to to show you guys more about it. But otherwise, I'm I'm just kind of like putting it out there. Kind of if you want to are interested in this mask or want to see more videos, I know there's not an English or uh, video of this mask. If you want to see any other videos, they're going to be in Russian, from what I understand. So as far as I know. I, I can definitely, if I have enough information, I can put it all together in a nice video and review it. But otherwise, yep, that is the 2BL gas mask. Uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more, uh, comment on what mask you want. And if you want to see uh, other gas mask videos, just subscribe and I'll get, and I'll see what I can do.